Hey everyone, so before I begin, the footage here was actually supposed to be a video test, you know, to see if my recording settings were fine. However, I was discovering quite a few things in both recording sessions that I wanted to showcase my findings and observations to you. This isn't a hard review of the game, just first impressions of the newer updates of the game. But if this does work out, um, this will just be a regular gameplay, gameplay video of me playing as Frostbite. Now, uh, if you guys have seen probably one of my more recent videos, Frostbite actually appeared when I was talking about Mink in, uh, in a prediction video about different Wings of Fire stories for Arc 4. Yeah, this is probably one of my, uh, one of my more basic designs, I guess, because, well, I'm just blue. <laughs> or just a, a more drab blue, I guess. Um, and the name isn't super special. I feel like Frostbite has been a name of someone in the series already. So this was really just a quick um, design. I don't really know how to design Ice Wings well. The models do look really good though, I will say. Um, in a previous test when I was first mucking around, I did talk to Dove. Um, and <laughs> yeah, oh Frostbite, have you found my horn ring yet? No. Um, I actually came here as one of my other characters and um, I accepted the quest. All right, let's actually talk to Dove. I've been rambling on long enough. Oh, is that you, Falcon? Oh no, it's not you. What's your name, darling? Lumen, would you help an old lady in need? Sure. Uh, you see, I used to have two horn rings. The golden one is from my daughter. I also had a brown one from my husband. But I lost it, can you believe it? Please help me find it, my eyesight is so poor. Oh. Very nice. I like the UI. I'm a very... <laughs> I'm a, a very um, astute uh, UI enjoyer. Uh, let's see, quest. Find Dove's horn ring. Okay, I don't know why it's a percentage. It should really be 0 slash 1, especially for this one. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's just um, common code that they use, like a subroutine for all quests, which honestly, fair enough, I'd probably do the same thing. But in this case, it really should be 1 of, or 0 of 1. Little did I know that the recording was going to be absolutely useless because there were a lot of polygonal anomalies everywhere. You know what? That's okay. Uh, oh, I had no idea I could swim. Oh! Lost horn ring. Well, I found the horn ring. That's cool. I was going to talk about several things. Whoa. Okay, that was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I was going to talk a lot about... um several different systems that appeared in this game like this questing system i really like this questing system my horn ring you found it oh thank you dear i wish i could repay you actually keep it as a token of my of my gratitude i was talking about how quests could unlock different accessories and i'm and i guessed that this one would unlock a horn ring accessory i have plenty more at home anyway okay so why did you make me find it for you <laughs> yeah here we go you unlock the left horn ring accessory. That was really cool. And now the quest marker is gone. Yeah. I did talk about quest markers in another one of my Wings of Fire gameplay, the first impressions type of thing. And this video isn't really a first impressions, it's just me playing the game, looking at the different systems. Because there are quite a few things that have changed. Like, I don't remember there being fishing spots in this game. Hold on, let me just find a fishing spot. I know there was one at the beach, but there was one down here earlier. So you come here, fishing spot, you interact with it, and then when the when the white bar goes into the middle here, or into the lighter green zone, you left click, or I don't know what it is on mobile. Um, you essentially just left click, and then you gain points. I talked about this being a pretty good mini game. Um, however, there wasn't really any consequences for for clicking outside of the green, at least none that I've found. The thing is about the the fishing thing, I would have thought that they would add some sort of cooldown, I guess, because there's really no punishment if you miss 
a um a fish you could literally just spam click and you could earn points and i feel like that's a little bit meh uh you kind of need to have a, a lose condition especially in mini games like that but i understand it's it's a role-playing game you want everyone to be happy but at least add a little bit of challenge for some players who are looking for it maybe you can add uh hard fishing spots where if you miss uh it goes on cooldown for five minutes and you have to come back later something like that i don't know it just because then you can hold competitions see uh who gets the most points you know it adds for roleplay value and gameplay value so i could just be I'm, I'm spamming left click right now i don't know if you can hear it but um you can just sit here and just spam left click and eventually you'll get points <laughs> like like that um um there were also some ui things that i want to talk about um because ui is incredibly important to me it definitely helps in the um, in the game design department or uh, not really uh, well i guess it does count in game design yeah there are a few things in the menus that i i really enjoy like i remember accessing this part and going into character and being able to change your character while you're still in an instance because that is incredibly handy i don't know oh quests they have character oh that's neat that's super cool. I don't remember them having this when I played last. So you can customize in the server without having to exit and then coming back and then doing like changes to stuff and then finding the right server again. That's really neat. That's a really cool quality of life uh, change because then that means you don't have to go out of the game. You don't have to fiddle around and you don't have to find the same server, especially if you're in a server that's almost full. You don't want to exit the game and then come back just to realize that oh no i can't complete the roleplay experience because someone took my place in peril 22. i will say the uh, having the controls next to the actions are uh are pretty good i don't know if it would have been better to just have a control scheme layout or having to be able to change your controls but this is fine for now having it be static instead of modular because then you could you could just click on these and it's, uh, it's really good for people on mobile, which is highly appreciated because there are a lot of mobile Roblox players. Are these real people? Oh no, it's a store. Cheapest furniture. Can I buy stuff off of you? You probably wouldn't want me in here because I'm an ice wing, but no refunds. It's very nice. Open store. Oh, there's scales. They're not, it's not water. Okay. All right. Well, this is this is super cool. Um, because in my previous session, I talked about these uh, small caves that allowed you to have a room for yourself. Let me go find one right now. And I was talking about, oh, hey, it'd be really cool if you could add furniture into these things. And what do you know? There's a store that sells furniture. It's really cool. So you can just claim these. You can change the sign, do whatever you want. You can go inside and then just chill out. You can chill out with your friends. You can put stuff in your house. Um, hold on. If I buy something, does that mean this house thing in the bottom left can be activated? I'm going to have a look. This is like, this is very fun, actually. I'm discovering new things, even though I this was meant to just be a playtest. Um, let's see. Oh, I, okay. That is a bit of a, that's a bit of an oversight by the game design UI team. Um, beware, when you come into the store and you left click once on these things, you buy it immediately. There's no um, accept message. So if I were to buy something in a video game, you essentially, you would want there to be a confirmation just so you don't accidentally buy things because that's, it's pretty important, especially if you're handling real money but in this case it's just in-game currency so it doesn't it, it's not that bad but it's still it's still something to consider especially if these are some things that you can earn as a player so what i would have liked is if i wanted to buy the red carpet i'd click it once and then a confirmation screen would show up to say are you sure do you want to buy the red carpet 
and then click yes it's bought do whatever you need to do and then yeah <laughs> that's that's essentially how i would have preferred it um because uh, doing this it kind of results in dark patterns i won't go into dark patterns in this video because i think it's a little bit too complex at the moment but um essentially just having just having a confirmation screen would really be good i don't know how to add things into my <laughs> in my home i bought a red carpet but i don't know where to get do i have to pick it up from somewhere I'm clicking house <laughs> are these features that have been added yet i don't know please someone let me know i really like these cool arches these cool like I, although i don't believe this is canonical to the actual skywing kingdom but um it is really cool how there's just a giant playground for so many people at once and you can have servers with 40 plus players or just 40 players maximum and that's that's pretty good for the uh, skyrim kingdom hello guards general cinder very cool name <laughs> i used to be an adventurer like you <laughs> then i took an arrow in the knee uh you gotta love the good old skyrim references i live for skyrim references I'm gonna chill by you. Is that fine? That should be fine. I think it'd be nice to see some NPCs just flying around as well, just to make the world seem a little bit more fleshed out, I guess, or lively. But you don't have to interact with them. It's, they're just there for eye candy, I guess. I don't know. It just adds, it adds a bit more life. I do like having NPCs that just chill out though. Those, those are really cool. I know I'm very I'm very nitpicky about these things. But that's because I'm I like game designing. Hmm. Now that's odd. I don't know if this is a bug or if it just doesn't happen on ice wings. But um these chains aren't are meant to link with my wings. When I was playing as a sea wing. Oh! Oh, that is, that is incredibly cool. I like that a lot. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I have chains on me now. I flew up to the spot, and now it ha now I'm I'm trapped. Not really trapped, but uh, just role playing at the moment. But uh, let's just pretend I'm trapped. Um, where's Peril when you need her? <laughs> uh. That is so cool. The uh, the bindings came on when I landed in the spot. What happens if I take off? Oh, can I not? I'm pressing Q and I'm not taking off. Am I stuck here forever? Oh. I really like that. That's really cool. Whoever coded that in, props to you. I really like that. When I... Oh, okay, here we go. I don't know why it wasn't happening on that one. Okay, um... Shout! Can we can we get an explanation, please? Why this one works, but the other ones don't? Maybe I landed on it incorrectly. Hold on, let me just try that one again. Let me just try this. Maybe I just landed on it wrong. What if I just? What if I? Oh nope nope nope. <laughs> I'm testing out the game for you. If you want me as a game tester, sign me up. Uh, I'm, I'm partially kidding because I'm I'm not qualified to test games. Hmm, that is really strange but yeah hold on there's one more thing i want to kind of show slash review before i end here and it's the swimming i'm just going to the beach to um to get a little bit more area to work with okay beach time all right so um when i went to go get the horn ring thing i was there was a good swimming animation and by good i mean fantastic look at that that is so cool is that how dragons actually swim in wings of fire they turn into this incredibly streamlined i guess bullet-esque shape which is really cool especially for ice wings because they're probably very aerodynamic with their with their horns i don't know i could be wrong so i guess this kind of concludes the uh, overall playtest or um, quote-unquote first impressions well I guess you could say first impressions of 
the new Aegis update, even though I haven't touched it at all. <laughs> but yeah, there are quite a few things that I didn't even notice when I first started playing because I was legit only here for background footage. But now that I'm actually sort of reviewing the game and some of its features, I can safely say that it's, it's pretty fun. It's pretty good so far. Well, if you've stuck out for long enough, I have to commend you because I probably wouldn't listen to myself ramble for 20 minutes or so. Um, no, but seriously, I really do highly appreciate you still being here. Um, and if you have suggestions for other games that you want me to play, leave them in the comments below, because I'll def I definitely read every single one of them. But also, if there are features that you've um, seen or that you haven't seen in this video that you want me to look at, feel free to let me know, because there are still so many things about this game that I don't know about. I guess I'll give you the good old classic. Subscribe for more Wings of Fire, and as always, thanks for listening. Oh, and I do plan on making a full-length video about Wings of Fire beta, it's just in the work in progress. Um, I still need to research about every... Well, not, not every feature, just the features that I was introduced to in the first, I guess, 60, 60 minutes, 120 minutes even, because I've played this for quite a bit, especially for just footage. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely put out a, a lengthy review.